Hello, this is Sean from DeRosa Education and Research. Recently, Vihart made a video calling certain things Smarties, which differs from what a lot of other people call Smarties, and this caused a lot of confusion. However, if we ignore nomenclature, she did raise an interesting question. In this video, I'm going to provide a description of this question and an approach to write a program that will solve it. Be warned, the program I describe is not easy to code. Assume we are given a bunch of Smarties with a variety of colours. Let's define a sandwich as one Smartie placed between two others where the top and bottom pieces have the same colour and the middle piece has a different colour. What is the largest amount of sandwiches we can create using them? Let's start by simplifying this problem. Assume we have divided the Smarties into two groups. One group will contain pairs that become our tops and bottoms and the other group will contain single Smarties that become the middles. Now we want to pair up the groups in a way that gives the largest amount of pairs. Let's start by drawing a line between all group pairings that make valid sandwiches. Remember, we want the middle colour to be different from the top and bottom colours. At this point, you may be stuck on which pairings to choose to give the most total pairings or matchings. In the picture given, we get the most matchings, i.e. 3, by pairing the green pair with the red single and pairing the two remaining red pairs with the yellow and green singles. Note, if we choose to pair the green with the yellow, we'll only get two pairings since we'll have two red pairs remaining and only one single that can be paired with them. Fortunately, the problem we now have is a standard problem in graph theory called the maximum bipartite matching problem. You can either solve this by learning about graph theory and flow networks or find some code on the internet that solves this problem and copy it into your program. Now assume you manage to code a solution for the matching problem for a particular grouping. Solving the general problem is a matter of looping over all possible groupings and seeing which grouping gives the most sandwiches. While in theory this sounds simple, in practice it could be tedious. One approach would be to turn your code that solves the bipartite matching problem into a function that takes a bipartite graph as input. Then you could write some code that generates all possible groupings as well as some code that converts a grouping into a bipartite graph. As a final note, if there are only a small number of Smarties, for example 15, this approach is feasible. If you wanted to solve the same problem with 100,000 Smarties, this approach would be too slow. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss future videos on mathematics.